I think what is happening right now is so exciting. I have heard people use the word transformation. I have heard people use the word revival. And what we are seeing now is that people are getting kickstarted. It's like people who have been sitting in church many years and almost like doing nothing or have not experienced so much with God and suddenly things is happening and suddenly they are seeing people heal, safe and this has become a, a normal part of their life. And I think this is so amazing what God is doing. And, I, and, and on this video, you're going to share a testimony from one guy I just met some days ago. Some days ago, the team and I, we were in Norway having meetings. And, and one, time we, in a, one day we were in the south of Norway, I got an email from a guy in Norway. And he wrote this to me. Hello, Torben Sundergaard. First of all, I want to say thank you so much. So much for your boldness, obedience, and your life with God. I just discovered your website and I am very excited. And, and he continues and writing that he's 34 years old, maybe have two children and he has been a Christian his entire life. And he's today in a leadership in a church in Norway. And then he's right, but now I, I feel like I want to reset and learn something for someone who really follow the commandments of Jesus Christ. I would like to come to Denmark where you are and so you can train me. And, and he write that and I write back to him that, hey, I am now, right now, very close to where you are. So the day after this guy, he came to us uh, one and a half hours from where he was living and he came to us. And that evening, he was at the meeting and I shared a word and then I took him out. I took him out to get him started. And, and I found somebody who had broken the, uh, the hand and he prayed for her girl and she got healed. A and it did something inside of him. And this is the most amazing because the day after he write back again. Dear brother, I went to the street today in Christian Sand, Norway to get up with my father-in-law. We found six sick people who all got healed after prayer in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for the inspiration. This is amazing. He have not done that before. He come, he get kick started, and then the day after he sent a text message to me that he have just prayed for six people who got healed. And this is continuing. After this interview, you're going to see in a short moment. This is continuing after that because two days ago he sent a new text message to me where he, he write, more he, a new healings happening this night. Praise Jesus' name. I took a person from the congregation with me to the street. First, I prayed for one who got healed in the back and then one who got healed in the ankle. And then I let my friends pray for somebody who got healed. We got amazing response. We believe that some of them is going to turn to Jesus. But this is what God is doing right now. He got kick-started. He went home. He went out on street. More people got healed. And then he took some friends with him. And he also prayed for people who got healed. This is what God is doing right now. Go in, look more of this, this video on the lastreformation.com. But right now, listen to what Eric have to say. God bless you very much. Yes, and now I'm standing here with Eric on a 7-Eleven. And uh, Eric, um, some days ago, three days ago, I got an email from you. Mm -hmm. You have seen our videos, Miracles in Sweden and some of the other videos. Mm -hmm. and, and what do you think when you saw the videos? I was very touched by the simplicity of, uh, of your way of doing it. I, I have, uh, of course, read the Bible and all these uh, scriptures where Jesus commands us to go out and heal the sick so many times. And I've maybe even prayed for sick mm -hmm. and as we've been praying for a lot of Christians who are sick and even unbelievers and we've seen some healings before but the, the what I really what really inspired me and made me so enthusiastic by your teaching and your your videos Tobin was the fact that you just uh, went out and did it very simple and you went out to find sick people just searching the streets for sick sick people and uh, you actually taught others to do it, uh, discipling others, uh, uh, like uh, the Bible tells us to do. And uh, I thought, I want that. I want. Uh, I just wanted to, to to be obedient and do do it now. And because I know uh, 
he he's able to heal and God it's God's will to heal everybody. And then you write to me and I write back that I was nearby in yeah. Norway. Yeah, I, I, I thought I want to meet this guy. Yeah. I want to, maybe I could, yeah, and your internet homepage says that I could come to Denmark and maybe spend a few days with you. And so I thought, yeah, I want to do that. I want to go to Denmark. And then I saw on your schedule that you were planning to be in Norway this upcoming weekend now in 18 to 21st of May. And then I thought uh, maybe I could meet him in Larvik. And I, I, I sent you an email and asked if you, I could meet you in Larvik. And uh, immediately I, you replied back to me and said, I'm in Lyngdal now. Mm. So you could sure, uh, surely come to Lyngdal. Mm -hmm. And uh, since that is just a uh, one and a half hour drive from here, I jumped into my car and went to meet you here yeah. on Tuesday. Uh, and so how you, was that? It was, uh, it was fantastic. I was, it was good to meet you all. and. Uh, Really, my focus was just, I want to do it now. I want to see it, I want to do it. And I was so thankful when I came there, because uh, I think you had actually scheduled uh, for an ordinary service uh, that evening with, with, and you were supposed to share the Word of God and preach. Yeah. But then you suddenly just said, uh, I think we just uh, changed the schedule, and uh, maybe you and you could come with me now, and we go out and heal the sick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was so happy and said, this is uh, this is what I like. Uh, you just put the the plans uh, aside, the human plans aside, and said, "Let's go and let's do it." And then um, you were kind enough to bring us out on the street and and just uh, open up the doors and and lead us to the sick people and and do all the the dirty work, <laughs> the talking, and and introduce us. And then you just asked me to pray for the first person. Uh, and um, I'm actually quite confident in in the praying. It's the only uh, what has been my problem is to 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 interrupt and, and to interrupt people and say may, may I pray for you and that was the hard part for me and when I saw the way you did it I thought I can do this myself yeah. and uh, of course then uh, that evening uh, we the first the guy the girl I prayed for had broken her arm uh, yeah. had pain in her uh, thumb yeah. uh, got in instantly healed yeah. and uh, that is of course encouraging and we yeah. went on and uh, there was even another team from from your group out and I think everyone that we prayed for that evening got healed uh. from various diseases and it was uh, uh. very in uh. encouraging and I'm staying mm. with you because you were staying there and your father-in-law there yeah. yes. and I got an SMS for you six mm. message yesterday mm. evening yeah. Yeah. that you have been out on the street prayed for five, six people, and they all got healed. Yes. What is happening? <laughs> can, can you tell me a little about yeah, it? This is my father-in-law, Gail and uh, mm -hmm. uh, he has always also had on his heart to, to pray for the sick and mm -hmm. has even uh, ministered healing uh, uh, also. But uh, And I thought, I want to do, no, I need to go out and just do it now, what mm -hmm. Tobin showed me. And uh, I don't want to yes. sit and wait for the next, uh, I just want to, I need to do it now. Yeah. So uh, I was quite busy. Yesterday was uh, new, uh, this uh, <coughs> celebration in Norway, 17th of May. So, and we were busy with family activities, and I have uh, two kids and a wife, so I have work to do at home. But then in the evening, when the kids mm. were in bed, and my wife also planned to go to bed, I called my father-in-law. Yes, yeah, he called me. <laughs> and I said, "Do you want to go with me?" Again? And you were so decided. Yeah. That, uh, and I, uh, I and I said. Uh, I'll join him even I was tired because uh -huh. I've uh, promised the Lord that mm. uh, uh, when, when he asked me for something I, I'll do it mm. and uh, but it was so exciting last night we were, when we went to the to, to, to these young people and uh, and hundred percent were healed uh, I have experienced uh, so, something like this earlier when I've uh, been in Africa but here in Norway it, it hasn't been so often but now it was so simple and, and, uh, and, and so, so this uh, really was a breakthrough. So I think uh, something will, will, will happen here now. <laughs> uh -huh. it, it will be very uh, interesting and ex to, 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 to continue this work. Yeah. So yes. And it do something inside of you. You, you get yeah, on fire. Yeah, yeah you? you get on fire. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This, uh, then you can see that the, 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 the God's word is really working yeah. yes, when you act on it. Amen. So, amen. Yeah, so, and, and, and we are filming here in 7 Eleven, and, and we just asked him if it was okay to film. And yeah. what just happened now? Yeah, 
the lady you asked who works there, we asked her if, if she was if she had any pains, and uh, and uh, there was her colleague actually had pains in her shoulders and her arm, and we asked if we could pray for her, and uh, I just prayed for her now and uh, uh, prayed a couple of two three times, and she gradually became better and better. So God moved and and started removing the sickness. I I believe she is. Yeah. Be and, and, and this is a normal day in 7-Eleven. Yeah. <laughs> this is not something big. This is <laughs> that's, that's the funny true. thing about it. The, the, yeah. You don't like yesterday when we went. There, it was just an ordinary 17th of May evening, and mm -hmm. normally we would just see the news and probably go to bed. But then I decided, oh, Jesus, let us have this experience now. Let me get a breakthrough here, mm -hmm. uh, and then. Um, there was no special feeling other than, of course, you have the Holy Spirit inside, encouraging and just, uh, and it was so encouraging. I'm, I'm so happy that I have a father-in-law who, who joins me. In, in, I'm in, happy to in, have in, a son-in-law who <laughs> yeah, so, uh, asked me for. We were very much encouraged like and uh, yes. so happy yesterday when we came home. And oh yes, definitely. So this is not the last time. Definitely not. No. Yeah. <laughs> this is the start of something. Yeah, that's amazing. what we believe. Yes. Amazing. God bless you both. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Too. Okay. Uh, and he's praying for a girl in 7-Eleven who have a lot of pain in the shoulders. Oh, and God is moving. God is moving. And it's like going away now, and she is so glad. So it's amazing what God is doing. Hvor lang tid har du haft? Ja, ganske lenge. I et par år eller på måneder? Nej, nej, nogle måneder. Nogle måneder. Og nu er du væk? Ja. Er det ikke fantastisk? Ja, det er nydeligt. Ha en god dag. Jeg ligger mod det.